I am all about more competition when it comes down to PC parts, tech stuff, or even console gaming because all that's going to do is help out the people that are into that sort of stuff and it's going to lower the prices of whoever is on top. And we ended up getting some AMD Radeon 7 benchmark leaks and it looks like it's going to be competing with the RTX 2080 even though it is a little bit lower than that. I was unaware that AMD had an alternative to Shadowplay and the NVENC encoder inside of OBS Studio. I have already recorded this video and I had to remake it because I was not aware that you were able to capture gameplay with an AMD graphics card or use some sort of an encoder with the AMD graphics card inside of OBS Studio. The only thing that I could think of as of right now is that the AMD encoder is nowhere near as good as the new NVENC encoder for the people that own an RTX graphics card. Now as always when it comes down to leaks like this you got to take everything that I'm about to mention with a grain of salt but I'm going to go ahead and show you guys this leak over on Tom's hardware website because this looks real this does not look like some was faking it whatsoever. So this is the article with all of the benchmarks for this new AMD Radeon 7 graphics card. I'm not going to read over everything here because I don't think any of you want me to make a video longer than it needs to be. The graphics card is not even out yet and you already know that we are going to be getting drivers and stuff to imp improve the performance with it. So this right here, the left side is always going to be the new AMD Radeon 7 GPU. For Fire Strike Extreme, it's 12,141, and then for the RTX 2080, it's 12,120. For your Fire Strike Ultra, it's 6,707, and then 6,418 for the RTX 2080. And then this one right here is just normal Fire Strike, 19,210 for the AMD GPU, and then 19,000. 491 for the Nvidia and I like I know those are kind of low quality images I have no way of upping the quality of them but these ones are a little bit easier to see right here um, I'll go ahead and try to zoom in to see if it makes it any easier but the Radeon 7 is right here it says 8321 and this is 2560 by 1440p at standard quality and then the RTX 2080 is 9,571. So to me, it looks like it's going to be competing a little more alongside with the RTX 2070. But again, keep in mind, this GPU is not even out yet. And, you know, it's already like right along the sides and the drivers and all of that sort of stuff. You know that they're going to be bumped. You know what I mean? But right here is the AMD Radeon 7 5,321. And then the RTX 2080 is 8001. And then the last one at 4K standard quality is where's uh, AMD Radeon 7 4683. And then the AMD or the RTX 2080 is 5404 so it looks like it's going to be competing right alongside with the RTX 2080 and the 1080 Ti at 1080 or er, at 1440p and 4k but once you start upping the quality of that graphics card like in 1440p high quality instead of standard quality that's where like the RTX graphics cards are really coming out on top. But again, keep in mind the drivers and all of that sort of stuff, of course, are going to be getting updated and all of that sort of stuff. But yeah, that's going to bring us to the end of the video, guys. Let me know what you guys think about this. I was, com like I said at the beginning of this video, I was completely unaware that AMD had an alternative to NVIDIA Shadowplay and then the um, encoder inside of OBS Studio. And I was going to bring that up as far as the cost goes. But after I realized that AMD does have that, you know, this is definitely going to be worth it. The only thing that this does not have that NVIDIA does is the RTX and the ray tracing. And I'm not sure what the quality is as far as streaming or recording goes with an AMD graphics card and using the encoder inside of OBS for that. But I would imagine that there's a, there's not that big of a difference as far as recording goes. Streaming, I would imagine, is a big difference. The new RTX encoder got a humongous bump. Like a big, 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 big bump inside of for the quality of it. It's like insane now. It's like medium settings with your cpu but the like performance loss is nothing but yeah that's gonna bring us to the end of the video guys i hope that you enjoyed it remember to support the video with a like if you did subscribe if you haven't already and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace